I like to know where people stand so I know how to treat you accordingly. They be trying to do it, I'm just doing me. Yeah. I'll be working hard, he just want it free. Damn. Be competitive with yourself. So this particular one was, I think, pretty interactive before when I put this uh, particular video out. It was about, um, I think the pronounce, uh, correct pronunciation was like a pochette or something like that, if I remember right. It's basically like uh, a Louis Vuitton item. You can call it a luxury item, whatever you want to call it. But it is basically a designer slash stylish way to hold your, your money, your card, your ID, uh, some change change purses whatever you want to call it so a lot of these items to me i feel like they're not one with they're they're all unisex to me but i'll give you my opinion on my latest one that i, I kind of give you a rundown of what i personally feel like it is based on just the style of it the fit or size of it overall right so this is my personal collection right here i don't have a lot because i don't actually like um carrying a lot of stuff in my wallets money clips i don't like carrying a lot of big things like that that's why for me even for my crossbody bags i tend to try to make them not too big i don't like it bulky i don't want that to wear me in the sense i kind of just want to have it as a light accessory if that makes sense right so this is my collection right here it's not that many these are actually i would say pretty affordable it all depends because a lot of things everything in this world right now is going up in, in price and also with that price increase is also value. And it's just supply and demand and just the way things are. Um, it does kind of suck. It is kind of hard to get some of these items. Um, and some of them may be discontinued. But I will say this. Uh, a lot of these items like this, I've never bought a wallet of any other kind. Especially for these types of prices. And, and can literally sell it back for what I paid for it for the most part. As long as you take care of it and stuff like that, right? It, it it almost becomes addictive like getting a tattoo and you get another one and another one and another one so as you explore a brand if this is your first or maybe not your last or not your second but it definitely won't be your last you'll start building up and getting new and new different pieces that you can add to your collection at least that's what i do it wasn't my intention but here it goes so this is the latest piece that i have here this i believe is the eclipse and it's the Eclipse because, I gotta make sure I'm not showing nothing. It's the Eclipse because it's like a reverse monogram. Instead of, if you don't know what I'm saying, it's basically, you see the dark and the light? It, they reversed it for it's the light and the dark, right? So I think it's pretty cool. Um, let me, This is what I have here. And let me show you my first one that I ever purchased. Uh, I wanted to get away from the cheap clips. So I bought this particular uh, wallet. It's only a bifold I believe that's correct. Not a trifold. It's just a bifold. It does have little wear marks right here, but it's not actually from me overstuffing it or anything. It's like if you look at this mark right here, right? I'm trying to trace it upside down right here. It's actually because of this stitch or seam line. It presses against here and it's just going to leave an indention. It's just going to happen. I really, it's kind of weird that I got blue actually because I've been on a blue kick lately for a lot of different things. I just like the color. It's kind of lively. It's not too loud. It's not too anything. It's just a nice touch, a little hint of color. I actually saw this online, not the same exact color because I paid a little more because of, with the blue, but I actually saw some online and they were available and they weren't that expensive. But if I remember right, I might have paid, I don't even remember now, but it, maybe it was like towards the five mark or something like that. I don't know, but I saw one that was very similar. And it was only like three something. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. But this one, it's a Damier print. I really like this a lot. This is my biggest wallet. And to be honest with you, I really don't even use it anymore. It's not that I can't use it. I'm just kind of avoiding using it on purpose. I have just different options. And again, I like to carry only what I need. And I don't like to carry big things like as far as purses and not purses, but bags and stuff go. So a lot of women, if you notice, like they'll have a big bag and they'll stuff it or a little bag and stuff it till the seams are busting. Maybe because I care about these items a little bit more than other items because just the cost of it and the investment I put into, I want to care for it. So I try not to overstuff it if I find myself doing it. That's why I got crossbody bags at Avenue and I got the bum bag. So this was the piece that followed up. As you can see, this is the same print. I chose these prints on purpose because I feel like they're very subtle, but they still kind of have enough where it just has a nice little touch to it. I don't know if that makes sense. Not too busy, not too trendy, kind of simple 
in in design and in pattern. So this one actually, people wear it differently, but for me personally, uh, I wouldn't put a lot of weight onto it based on how the mechanism is just on here. Uh, if you put too much weight, it, it, you might rip it or anything. And if you have something of value, uh, it might rip off. So females, males alike, I don't know how it's labeled, but it's definitely unisex. Um, if you have a purse, you could easily use this clip, put it inside your purse and have your particular, I don't know, your your ID or your credit card or something like that. Don't overstuff it. Don't go crazy with it. You're going to ruin it and you're going to make it bulky and all this other stuff. The, if it was meant to be bulky, it would be a bulkier, larger item and it's not. So you're kind of probably using it the wrong way and it'll wear out a lot faster. So for me, uh, I actually don't use it like this and put it in my pocket, even though I have. What I mainly do, actually, um, some people might find it a little too trendy, a little weird. I'm not really sure. But I actually clip this to my, my belt loop, like towards the front on either side. It doesn't matter. I let it hang. Now, sometimes when I let this dangle, it all, it all depends what I'm wearing and how I see it, it looks. You know what I'm saying? I'll actually still leave it clipped, but I'll tuck this in my actual pocket. Or I'll let it hang down. It all depends. So, for example, if I I don't know why I do it or why I choose to do it. It's just something that I feel when I would depend on what I'm wearing, if I find it appropriate or find it like I feel like it looks right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely uh, like this one. Definitely recommend it. And it's not even that expensive for Louis Vuitton items. This particular item right here, I think when I got it, it was only like 220 or something like that. Now the price have jumped up to like 270 supply and demand. It sucks. But if you never knew the price prior, sorry, I ruined it for you. You're not going to like paying more. Nobody does, but it is what it is, right? So that's number two. So my third one, this one to me is actually very hard to get. It's very common. It's pretty popular. The monogram right here is like, it's it's the it's it's just it right. I recently pick up the chocolate belt, uh, with the gold buckle, the LV buckle. The only thing that's weird to me, this isn't polished. I don't know why. Um, and this is an official item, purchased at Louis Vuitton. So don't play yourself trying to act like this is uh not that. But you can see how this is polished, and this one is kind of like not really polished. I, I'm not really sure what's up with that. It's not like the gold color is fading. It's just not, it wasn't high polish. I've never seen another one to double check to see. But when I first saw it, I was saying to myself, like, damn, why does it look like that? And I was going to ask for another one. But the thing of it is, uh, it is. So let me tell you something about my experience when you buy from these places. You're going to have, I don't know if it's sales agents or sales advisors, but they refer to them as SAs, right? Basically, it's good to build those relationships because stuff like this you can't find online. You can't find it in stores. Um, but if you have a relationship with a particular SA and maybe they want the sale, whatever the case is, they find you to be somebody who does spend. It shouldn't be like that. I definitely understand it, but it's just the way of the world, man. You're dealing with salesmen and saleswomen, and they're trying to to make money. That's their that's their job. It's it's not just customer service. Customer service is part of the job, and also they are salesmen and saleswomen. So you kind of have to expect that. I don't like that, but you kind of have to expect it, right? So if you go ahead and try to order things online, go ahead. You don't have to deal with anybody, and that's just what it is. But the way it is, salesperson slash customer service person. You're going to have to like get a little bit of both of those types of people when you deal with them or trying to understand and trying to purchase things. So uh, my particular person at this particular spot uh, got me this uh, super appreciative because I was looking for this for like well over a year. I couldn't get it. I did find it online in the middle of the night randomly. And as I'm trying to add it to my cart, it literally disappeared. And I, it, the funny thing is I actually tried to charge my car, but it didn't complete the sale. Very weird. It ended up getting reversed and all this other stuff. It was like a pre-authorization type of situation. But um, long story short, I like this. I like to wear... Um, this is every day. You can wear this with anything. This color scheme, it, it doesn't matter if you have a bag. It doesn't matter if you have this. It, it's, it's cool. You can wear it with anything, whether you have blacks on, browns on, earth tones, anything. This right here is a little more different to me, at least. It's not like a woman wearing a purse or something. You can wear this with anything, I guess, if you choose to. But for me, especially if you have it hanging off your pants or your, your belt loop, I don't want to wear this with um, black and white clothes on or something weird like that just doesn't flow. I'll, I'll have this option and that, that's the whole thing it's like you have options right 
and it goes really good with my monogram belt. It matches it perfectly. This one matches my very first Louis Vuitton belt also. Um, so yeah. Then second, I ended up picking this one up. This one to me is a little bit... I have more to say about this one because I'm, I'm a little conflicted in how I feel about it exactly, okay? So by f this is a typical wallet size, right? If you look, this change purse pouch whatever you want to call it is about the same dimensions as the wallet right the smaller thinner wallet right so keep that in mind this is a typical wallet size whether it be trifold bifold whatever right then you get this it kind of reminds me of and this is actually sold as a man's wallet or change I don't want to say purse, change holder, change pouch. I don't know. It's way bigger, right? It's a lot longer. It basically, to me, the shape of it reminds me of a woman's change purse. Um, it's not overly big like a woman's change purse, which is probably a little bit longer. But I feel like this is why it's probably so unisex is because of the the dimensions of it. I like the reverse monogram look. I was going to get a blue one. I've been on this blue kick. It, it, check out my other video. I don't even know how I'm going to put that video out. But as you can see, I got this. They call it Navy, but it's definitely not Navy. Um, Been on a heavy Cartier kick. Cartier J, basically. So uh, this is that blue, that blue face dial. I like this a lot. This is the big joint that you can tell because it has the date, the newest model, latest model, new on the wrist. I really rock with it. Super heavy, right? Um, if anybody's interested in time pieces, I give you my experience, my little experience, real world experience and share it. A lot of people think this is too big. I, I thought it for, uh, I was contemplating really heavy in the beginning, but it, it, I like it a lot. It definitely wears a little bigger and it definitely wears bigger with the, the Santos style, uh, band, the steel band. This tapers well. So it kind of, to me, brings it in a little bit different or better. Right. Anyway, so with this right here, um, the reason I'm conflicted about this is because, again, I like things that are flat. And if it's designed to be to hold more things, they would design it differently. They design it this way. They design it this way because it's meant to pretty much keep this shape. Now, you could stuff it, right, where it's bulking out. But if they designed it to fit things like this, they would have made this differently. Because as you fold it up or zip it closed it's gonna um well i can't even bend it i'm trying to bend it to show you but it's designed to stay basically this thick you could stuff it a little bit but in reality it was designed to pretty much stay this thick this is why this is seen like this it's just designed that way right i'm not saying you can't stuff it but it wasn't designed that way when you look at this i'm a little conflicted in how they designed it because it's also designed in a manner where it's meant to be somewhat flat 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 right but then you have this part right here so when you unzip this see this right here you would think that this was designed so we can hold more and be thicker but in reality if that was the case they only put it on one side not this side and definitely not the bottom side it's very flat so when you look at something like that I'm, i have things in here right I, this is too many things to be honest with you. I'm going to take this stuff out because it's personal. So if you look at this, yes, you can put your cards. Just putting the cards here. And like I, if you have an Apple card, that, that joint is super thick. You, you're going to definitely notice. It. I didn't even see if it would even fit. These are tight fits, right? Um, I can feel how that has bulked this up, even just with the cards here. It's weird. And then the way they designed this, because it's only flexible on one side, not this side. Um... I don't know if that makes it easier to grab stuff out, like change. Uh, maybe that is just for change, but I know just putting extra cards or something like that or even receipts, it'll bulk up very quickly and it'll start feeling too big, right? It's like I could fit more things comfortably in here, it seems like, based on my experience, right? Um, and then you have this right here, which is basically for a receipt or another card. Just by me putting those cards in and a few different kind of receipts in here, it, it's already flexing this out where it's not you i don't know if you can kind of tell but this right here is not laying flat it's actually kind of starting to open itself up where it's kind of staying a little propped open 
to the point where I know when I wear this or use this all the time, it's going to stay losing its shape. And when it starts losing its shape and it starts getting more flexible, you're not going to be able to put things in here without worrying about it falling out. And then I won't use this part at all. To me, I just don't think I'll use that part at all anyway. Not saying I never will, but I probably won't. And then right here, you have another pouch or a slot. I mean, the same as you have a slot. You see the V cut right here? The same V, v cut, same V pattern. Um, oops, wrong one. So, yeah, I, I still like it. I'm just not loving it. Um, I think it's okay, but I'm just not loving it. I like the color patterns. I'm not, I, I feel like it didn't have to be this long because based on how they made this, you think you could put more stuff in it, but it's designed to be really flat. So I feel like they could have cut this short and made it the same size or dimensions as say this cut all this dead space off and just made it a zippable version of one of one of these basically except that it'll be like this except that it'll have these external pockets on the top and the bottom but it'll, it'll wear and be useful just like this where you can still put change in if you want to some receipts whatever i think that would have been a better look and i personally think that would have made more sense in a useful sense right and style sense I think maybe they added the link to it to make it more unisex, even though it clearly says for men. I can see why a lot of women are drawn to this because online, I, I don't see too many males talking about this one. It's more females that I see that use this, right? And uh, I, like I said, I definitely see why and understand. I still like it, but again, it's just a little big. If I put this in my back pocket, which I really don't, it'll stick out of my back pocket a little bit. If I put it in my front pocket, it just seems a little big. It's like, to have it this big, you want it to lay flat as possible. If you're tucking it in, say, the inside of your jacket, you're tucking it in, you basically want it to be flat. You don't want it to be bulky and all that other stuff. So I actually got this to put, like, to use with my bum bag. So it's an alternative to this. So this, I usually, these right here, I basically use these, and I hang them off my jean loop for the most part, right? Like I was saying. I haven't used this in a long time, but this was just to replace a regular wallet. This right here is if I'm not using one of these for me. It's something that even if I have a bum bag or avenue, I'm still going to use this and throw it inside. Or again, because it's basically almost the size of a checkbook. That's kind of how I can explain it. It's like the size of a checkbook. It's like the size of a checkbook. And with that being said, I would say, you know, it's still convenient to some degree. I just am not 100% agreeing with the overall total design. But again, slide it in. You're good to go. I still recommend it, especially for the price. It's not too bad. Um, I don't remember what it was now. I think it was like 370 Whatever it was, I think it was under 4 It's not too bad. It's not too pricey, but it's a good way to get your foot in the door. It's a very useful item. It's something male or female would be a great gift idea. If you can get your hands on one, if you go online, it's going to say it's not available. I would recommend going in and seeing an actual person in the store. Talk to them, pull them to the side, and see if they can order it. Because what I found out is the, the um, actual goods are more... The store actually gets priority, okay? Okay, so basically what I'm saying is they care more about the people in person than ordering stuff online. So a lot of these things will say out of stock online, but if you go in person, you can get them to potentially order certain things. My bum bag, you cannot find it online. You can't even find it in stores. I was able to get it. This same scenario, I'm about to get the, I think it's Explorer briefcase. I can't remember, but it's like a briefcase, put your laptop, that type of stuff. And I want to get a duffel eventually, like a medium duffel, like a carry-on type duffel. But I want to get the laptop bag um, next. I was going to get a backpack. They told me straight up, the one that I was looking at, you can't get that particular one. They just don't even make it right now for some reason, period. Um, but with that being said, build good relationships. It goes two ways. It sucks in some ways, but it is what it is. You got to adapt with how things have changed or how they are and make the most of it. That's all I can say about that. So again, these are all great entry level, somewhat affordable um, change slash wallet pouches that I highly recommend. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you do everything at top level, at your top level. And remember, you're in no competition with anybody except yourself. So make sure your next move is your best move, or at least your better move. Till next time. Later.